What's up guys, it's Zoid here. And as you can see, I have my computer hooked up to my telly downstairs and um, I'm actually trying to like fill around with some Steam big picture a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I've got my computer hooked up with a HDMI cable, it took me no time at all. Uh, and I've got some random books that I'm just going to put the camera on, so uh, I think I've got it sorted. I think it's going to work quite well. So I'm going to put the camera down here. Let's get that. Yep. And it should be a bit quieter from back here, but uh, if I go up here, and go to Steam Big Picture and just click this. It's come out of beta now and it's uh it's actually pretty cool. <coughs> Telly's a little bit loud, so I'll turn that down. Um if I go over to so you can see this is all optimized for controller. So very clever, it works kind of like um you know an Xbox or a PS3, it's 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 cool and it works very well with an Xbox controller for Windows, so uh that's a plus because a lot of people have got a wired Xbox controller. So if you go to the library, well you can go store first. So this is like actually pretty easy to work with as well. Go over to library where it shows you all the games we have that work with controller. Uh, we can jump on some Binding of Isaac here. Just wait for the game to launch. And it will launch in Windows mode like this. And um, the reason I picked Binding of Isaac Isaac is, is and his mother were right. alone in a small house on a hill. Because it's sort of like really hard to get right because it's a bit of a weird game. So that's like that's like an alright game. It, it shows how they can make the Binding of Isaac actually work, sort of. Even though it's just like a really hard game, you can't even record it properly. You've got to like use screen capture. It's a bit weird. But anyway, if we jump over to anything that's actually Controller optimized like zombies here. Launch that. Uh, launch anyway. I always get cloud errors with zombies. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, go online. Sorry for my voice being a bit weird. I'm like ill at the moment. It's not good. Uh, solo play. Uh, actually, I think I'll just go custom games. And do like my usual little town survival. So you see, this is like the normal way that um, it would work using a controller. This doesn't look too special until you know it's the Steam community. It's still perfectly smooth. It's still exactly how Shift Tab is. It's just designed for the controller. It shows you your friends who are playing in the game. You can join in with them. Uh, you can see all the stuff that you normally get with shift tab, it's just like made a lot better for controller. You press it again, you're out. <laughs> oh wow, I'm really not good at controller. But actually, something else that I want to consider here is when this game is all over and done with. Yeah, that was awful. Um, I've actually got my keyboard and mouse back here, and if I press shift tab, I still get it and it's just as easy to use with a keyboard and mouse. So I can actually start a match here. Uh, I know this is exactly what I just did, but um, yeah, I've got my keyboard and mouse back here, so I should be able to play this pretty decently compared to before. Just wait for this to load. Also, this isn't forced upon anyone. Anyone can just use either mode. Uh, you have to specifically go into Big Picture. I don't think you can set it as like a default mode to launch Steam in. But it just makes everything a lot more viable. It, I mean, people thought this was a hint to like um, the Steam box, like specific, like specific console that I make it for Steam. But that that didn't actually end up existing. So. You can see that the gameplay is actually really smooth, even if you're using a keyboard and mouse, and you can go straight back in here with shift tab, or you can switch back over to the controller. 
uh, use exactly how you did before. This actually took me to the browser. I think I accidentally clicked on it. Oh my god, I didn't know it could do this. This is the Steam web browser. Wow. Okay, so actually, it looks like if you hit LT and RT, you can switch between the browser, the main menu, and your friends list. So, like, if I go back to a browser, this is really good. I didn't even know that they had this. This is, like, you can zoom in and out. You can, like, move around and click and uh, start new discussion. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not actually going to do anything. But that's just so clever, and it shows how great Steam um Big picture mode is. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And in a bit, guys. If I zoom out, like, oh god, I'm not very good with the camera, am I? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like brought my computer down here. I literally, just brought my keyboard and mouse down as well. But uh, just because I haven't got anything to do today, it's just yeah. Um, in a bit, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching The Oids Noise, and be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with his latest gaming content.